What is going on, y'all? It is Gum Gum TCG here, back again with another Market Watch Tuesday. That's right, had a busy weekend, didn't get the time to record, but we are back, and uh, I'm recording this on Monday night, 7 15 24. So, uh, yeah, today's Market Watch is going to be a little more interesting. Just taking a look at some stuff that I've noticed moving around a bit, uh, some stuff that you might want to pick up sooner than later, or it might be a little too late for now. Um, but, you know, before we hop into that, I want to shout out today's sponsor. And, of course, that's going to be Dueling Guard. If you haven't picked it up already, their One Piece collection is still live. I know that they're closing pre-orders on this stuff very soon. So, make sure you jump in there and grab it. I mean, some of this stuff looks really fantastic. This Zoro deck box is absolutely stunning. Um, and then the Monkey D. Luffy deck box, of course, also being pretty stunning. And these are embroidered. So, a uh, little more flare to the front of your deck box just look at that gorgeous anyway not going to talk about it anymore go check out the link in the description use that code gumgumtcg to save yourself a discount at checkout huh you still aren't using dueling guard then you aren't using the best tcg accessories on the market dueling guard makes the highest quality tcg deck boxes with the most stunning artwork i've ever seen their modular design allows for easy access to your decks and dice. They don't just make deck boxes, they also make the highest quality binders with side-loading pages to keep your expensive cards safe and protected. They also make high quality play mats and now even sleeves. I personally use their sleeves on all of my cards and cannot go back to another sleeve after I've been using theirs. They are grippy and slick when you need them to be and I have no doubts that my cards are protected in them. Gear up with Dueling Guard to protect your cards in style. Don't forget to use code GUMGUMTCG to get a discount at checkout. Alrighty, y'all. So, of course, this is what you're here for, diving into today's Market Watch. I'm going to try and keep this short and concise, and I'm going to try to do that moving forward for Market Watches in the future, uh, trying to run through everything I have as fast as possible. Uh, but sometimes, you know, I just start get just get to yapping. Uh, but today, we're not going to do that. Today, we're going to take a look at Brooke. Uh, this card has gone to the moon since May. I mean, five times price from $3 all the way to $15. And uh, this is for Moria. This is for Lucci. This is for Blackbeard. Like, this card has good reason to be going up. Its effect is really, really strong. Of course, the on play wouldn't activate in Blackbeard, but the when attacking always will. Uh, also, this is just great for Lucci. This is great for uh, Moria. This is great for a lot of decks. This card's just really, really strong and uh, might be a little too late for you to pick it up. But if you're thinking about playing black anytime soon, you definitely will want a play set and you might have to shell out that $15. But if you're wanting to bling out a little bit more, of course, there is the alt art sitting about 35. This has gone up quite a bit as well since its initial release. Uh, about 10 extra dollars maybe a little more give it or take 38 for your lowest verified but uh yeah this one does look awesome i've seen it in person another card that has gone to the moon is a uh, cavendish uh i mean since its release in may it was like five dollars it's 20 bucks now this card has four times its price in two months uh your lowest near mint is going to be 1960 and uh, if you're wanting to play bonnie or any supernova leader anytime in the future you definitely will want a place out of this this allows for some extra dawn manipulation and just a great all-around card uh and then of course you have the alt art of him looking all um gorgeous if you will and um yeah, that started at 20. It's about 40 now, uh, 35 for your lowest verified. So that's not too bad if you really want to bling this out. I'd say the Brook and this are kind of competing for that top spot in EB right now for uh, kind of your best value or best card. Uh, another one that I think is under undervalued and really is one that you should have in your arsenal is Laboon. Uh, this card is just a minus four every turn that you can rest it and it's a 5k so they have to swing into it with at least 5k which sure that might be a leader attack but that could also be a couple bodies attacking it as well you have a blocker on field this is hard to get rid of and it's just it's almost ice age every turn it's you know it's kuzan and um kuzan's really really good too if you don't have those i'd recommend getting those but this is just your other option for kuzan and uh 90 cents i mean you can't really beat that for your lowest mint verified and then uh if you look at the alt art which this is stunning uh, only ten dollars only ten dollars for your lowest verified so you might snag those before they go up as well because ten dollars for an alt is pretty cheap but uh speaking of another card that i think is undervalued right now is this tony tony chopper blocker uh with the chopper support and the drum island stuff coming out in uh drum kingdom drum island coming out in 08 uh this card is 
definitely played in that deck, played in a new variation of Zora, and I think it's just a great card to have. It's played in Law, it's played in uh, anything running a Straw Hat package, like, it's just a really, really good card, and I think you should have your hands on it. You're looking at six bucks for your lowest verified, and then, of course, we have the awesome uh, cartoonish kind of uh, colored pencil art. Uh, looks awesome, by the way. Uh, this has, like, been cut in half since release. Uh, your lowest verified. Um, oh, never mind. Shipping got me. Uh, almost cut in half. Your lowest verified is about 20 bucks. Uh, no, 23. That's Japanese. You gotta watch out for that. Um, no! How could I tell what condition a card's in? Uh, be careful about that, too. Uh, next, we had some cool reveals this weekend, which we will be talking about in a video this week. Uh, and one of them was this new 7-drop crocodile that goes in the buggy and cross-guild deck that on play plays a 5 or less cross-guild or Baroque Works card from your hand. So I uh, wanted to talk about a couple cards that I think are good pickups for that. Uh, one of them being Daz Bones, just a 5-6 body that you can play off of it. And, uh, you know, it's not, you don't have to play it in buggy. Uh, you can play this in the Blurple Croc or even just Mono Blue Croc. And uh, if your leader's type includes Baroque Works, this card gains a 1,000 power for every two events in your trash. That's really good for Blurple Croc and even Blue Croc. And then on play, it also draws two and trashes one. So that's a really good pickup. Uh, this card, you can actually see a small price increase and some buyouts happening here. Uh, a lot of sales over the past two days for this card, which hasn't had many since its initial inception, uh, being under $5 for quite a while. But you're looking at about six bucks for your lowest verified right now, uh, not including shipping. And then I uh, didn't want to bring up the common or the rare, I think it is. It's just, it's a common or a rare, you know. Uh, another one that I think you should be on the lookout for is Miss Wednesday. This is a great card uh, for Blurple Croc and uh, Purple Yellow Croc. But uh, I could see us getting another leader Baroque Works that's purple one day, you know. So you never know. This card's really, really strong. I played Purple Yellow Croc for a while at the end of EP, and uh, this is your main piece. Like, this card is insanely strong in that deck and uh, can definitely be good in Blurple Croc as well. So if you don't have these, you might want to pick these up before they start going up as well. 68 cents, you can play this off that new Croc. Uh, and then, of course, we have the Alt, which uh, was high priced, I think, just Waifu Tax, but uh, now is only about $7. So that's pretty cheap as well. Another good option, of course, is going to be Miss All Sunday, being able to ramp you one and draw a card. Uh, this card saw a big spike a little while ago. If you moved your copies back then, you made a couple dollars maybe. But uh, now it has calmed back, back down to about $2 for your lowest verified. Uh, and then, of course, the alts did the same thing. Went all the way up and all the way back down. Little roller coaster there. Uh, 20 bucks for your lowest verified for this one. And then, of course, we have the SP, which is also very gorgeous. Uh, these are also great pickups for the new Nico Robin deck coming out. Um, I think that that will be an interesting and super fun leader to try out. So uh, definitely a good option for that, being able to get your Dawn and draw a card. Like, what else could you want out of a card? Um, this card has been doing the same thing, you know? I mean, it not as drastic oh actually i guess it did back in then it had 120 price tag that's kind of crazy uh if you look at the whole inception though i mean the lowest it was was like 70 all the way up to 120 now your lowest verified is going to be about 83 dollars so those are a little pricey but one that's came down a lot is bond clay and if you don't have these i want to tell you pick these up now this card's phenomenal and we'll see play for a while and uh will not get a reprint for a while either uh at least i don't believe so um, I could be wrong, but I don't imagine this card getting a reprint. It's one of the things that you still want to pull out of EB01. So um, definitely something I think you should pick up or consider picking up now for $30. I mean, if we look uh, even just a couple months ago, this was a $50 card and it's gone down by $20. You're saving yourself 80 bucks by getting it now. Same with the alt. This was like a 150 card. It's like 80 bucks now. Uh, definitely one that you should consider. And like I said, you can play it off of that croc. So if you are a Blurple croc lover, uh, you definitely want to be able to get those. Um, and then just another one that I figured we would talk about is this vanilla croc because it has a couple interesting printings. Uh, of course it has a common print, but also has that pre-release stamped and uh, nobody's really gone after that one, but I did want to throw it up here as an option because the other ones are bought out. Uh, yes, people have been buying these up, and uh, there's a couple, there's like four of them of this uh, same art, but they are just different stamps, so like this is the 2023 online one, and uh, if you look at the sales for this, this has been bought out since the other day, there weren't many listings, but even with those small amount of listings, people picked these up for like 30 a copy, which is 
kind of crazy. Uh, your lowest is 50 now, but I don't see this holding. Like, it's an okay option, but I, I have a feeling we're going to get some better cards to play off that croc if, if we're talking about the buggy deck, at least. Um, but uh, we also have the 2023 offline, and this one was bought out as well. You can see sales all the way back to the other day, um, 26 all the way up to $30. Now your lowest is 42 uh, And then, of course, we have the finalist, which I think is the one that people would want. Um, this one definitely a bit more expensive, and uh, people are not wanting to play the price as much just because it is $45 for a stamped vanilla. Like, the artwork's sick, don't get me wrong, but... Um, I have a feeling we're going to have better targets to play off of that croc than this vanilla. Like, it's a really good option, but I could see us having some better cross guild targets. Uh, and then, of course, we have the 2023 online finals. This was the offline version. And uh, this one has been bought, uh, actually doesn't have any sales, really. It has one sale back in the day, but uh, this one just being a little bit more expensive for whatever reason. Lowest to 69. Nice. Um, I don't know. I'd stay away from these. If you have them, move them now, but personally, I would not pick these up. Uh, and then next, of course, we have the Blurple Croc Leader, which has taken the fall, how the Mighty Have Fallen from Romance on, uh, being a $100 card just two months ago, down to a $45 card for your lowest near mint. That's not a bad price at all, and I would definitely recommend snagging this up. Um, now let's get into some cards that I've seen an increase in price over the past little while uh zoro this one's doubled in price uh it was even a little more expensive i think we covered it the other day as well and uh now it's like 30 bucks uh definitely one that i think if you have uh you might consider moving we don't know if this is confirmed for a reprint or not but um it's definitely a possibility that it could be in the premium booster set which does release in japan very soon so we will be covering that once it comes out and taking a look at everything and definitely taking a look at the market because it's going to crash but even the alt has been going up um from 50 bucks all the way up to what it is now for about 64 65 for your lowest verified um and then dofi has also been going up recently this is all bonnie hype bonnie is a really strong deck right now i think it's very uh underrated definitely an underdog and i think if um the august ban list in uh in japan uh I had a comment the other day telling me I say OCG, which is definitely a Yu-Gi-Oh term. And I do apologize for that if you've ever wondered what I meant by that. I mean uh, the the East, um, Japan, and uh, all the countries over there that play this game as well. And they're on a different format and a different ban list sometimes. Uh, if that ban list for them comes out and it decimates Black and Law, I do see Bonnie and Green taking a step up. So, uh, Do Flamingo, I've seen some price increase in, and we do know this is confirmed for a reprint, but even with that reprint, this is still a $5 card just because it's coming up on a year old now. Uh, the alt has also actually taken a turn for the worst, and I think that's because the alt that we're getting in the reprint set looks way better than this one. So I think people are trying to move theirs. Uh, your lowest is $28, though, so I'd, I'd probably move them as well if you got them. And same with Hody. These have gone up like these were only like three bucks for a while they're like i mean just the other day like eight bucks uh your lowest verified right now is about eight bucks uh hody's up there and then same with the alt this one has gone up as well 22 dollars all the way up to 30 uh yeah 30 wait that's not near mint let's find the near mint uh 29 for your lowest near mint verified uh and then of course we are going to look at some 07 cards we have to right they just came out uh yeah ace has finally started to take that downfall like i originally predicted and uh i was wrong about for a little while but he has came down and i believe this is just because people have picked up all their copies that they want and uh people are just trying to undercut and sell these cards and get rid of them because they're opening them there's a lot more of this product than they expected and they have a lot more of these cards and yeah i mean your lowest verified for this is 28 bucks i don't think that's a bad price but you never know it could be 20 bucks in a week uh and then of course the alt has came down with it as well this was about like 90 dollars when we looked at it the other day and now your lowest verified is 65 so not too bad but i would move it if you got it uh, and then we have Egghead Luffy. This one has also came down a couple dollars. Uh, it was about nine, ten dollars now. Your lowest verified is about seven, which isn't too bad, but definitely a card you should watch out for. This card's very, very strong and played in a lot of different yellow decks. Uh, and then, of course, we have the Alt, which is drawn by Oda, and I think that's going to hold some extra value. You know, uh, it was down about 50 bucks, and it's just been going up. Like, uh, we have sales consistently just today for $60, and uh, your lowest verified is going to be about 60 bucks. Um, 
definitely a card that I think is going to hold some value. It even has a chance at a cereal in a new uh, pack that is announced for, I believe, Nats. It's Nats or either some other kind of uh, tournament participation. I don't know. I just saw it floating around on Twitter, and you have a chance of pulling one that is serialized, and it's not... Um, not for getting top eight or anything it's just like participation so be on the lookout for those those are going to be pretty pricey um might impact the value of this but uh, i know we have another reprint of this coming as well so i'm i'm interested to see the price fall in that gym base 275 pick these up now man these this card's really really strong like there's no leader lock on it there's no restriction other than play a seven warlords with a four or less from your hand that's not gym bay this card's really really strong it has application in a lot of different decks there's a lot of really good seven warlord cards out there and i definitely think this is a card you should not be sleeping on if you don't have a play set of it and you're interested in playing blue ever definitely grab a play set of these uh your uh alts are actually going up these have been um floating around 25 to 30 dollars but they're on the increase uh I, you can see we have consistent sales like just today people are buying them like people are really hyped on blue right now and i definitely think this is one of the cards that makes it really good uh, another one i think you should not be sleeping on is porsche uh this card is played in a lot of different builds i've been seeing recently just to get you some extra advantage uh playing a 4k or less from your hand is really good you could play zora Jura off of this and foxy of course there's a couple different targets for this uh, i just think that this is a good card and you could play this in law you can play this in a lot of different decks and i think i think it's one you should consider having a play set of if you're a purple player so uh 50 cents not bad at all for your lowest verified just pick up a play set of these for a couple bucks uh we already covered the alt going up to 20 dollars, and i think that's just that hype people figured out and uh it is starting to come down we're looking at 17 for your lowest verified instead of 20 but i mean people are still buying these we we had uh, what like five sales today just today and then we had a bunch yesterday like people are people are still picking these up um another one i think you need to have is frankie and of course this is just a rare so he's only 25 cents but if we look at beige beige is a very similar card to frankie a good yellow 2k with an awesome trigger uh beige may be a little more impactful but frankie is also really really strong and i think this is going to be the next beige uh beige rares were like two three four dollars at one point and i don't know if they still are but uh how about we actually look at that real quick um yeah, I mean, 150, that's not bad for a rare. Like, it's a year-old card, 150. Like, we look at the high point, it was a, a $3 rare at one point. Like, a playset of this card was worth more than $10, and it's just a rare. I do think Frankie is going to do the same thing, and uh, we can see it's... <laughs> It's parallel is only 18 bucks, uh, like 21 for your lowest near mint. Um, I I definitely pick up a play. I picked up a play set of these. I have a play set of the Frankies. Uh, oops, not what I wanted to do. I wanted to look at the Alta Beige. Yeah, and we can look at even the life life cycle of this. And I just think it's a similar card with a similar um, home. And uh, I could definitely see it doing the same thing. Like lowest beige was was about 20 bucks shot up to about 40 shot back up to shot down back up to about 40 now he settled about 30 but still I, I could see frankie doing something similar this card's awesome definitely great it looks great in person and i definitely think you should pick this up um next we have sabo i definitely think you need a place out of this because if moria gets the axe this card is going to go up uh it's not technically a full replacement for moria but definitely is one of your better a cost black cards like this is a very good top end uh and they're pretty cheap right now 14 and 27 respectively for the secret and the alt secret uh and then i wanted to talk about this psa luffy i've been seeing these floating around and uh they're finally getting distributed and uh i collect alt art leaders but this one is going to be one that i'm waiting on uh 140 for this just seems a little bit much it feels like a money grab for all the people that got this for i don't know how much they paid for it but it just seems a little much right now like it's a really cool card and a really cool concept and definitely something exclusive and something i want but 140 is definitely a lot i mean we can see sales of this thing once it came when it first came out um for 250 230 200 and they've just been going down i mean uh, if you give this some time i definitely think you'll be able to snag this for 100 or less in a couple weeks and uh there's also problems with these they're coming in bent and mashed and stuff but it is a card i think you should be picking up purple luffy is a strong leader and i think it will be for a while uh it's not played much now but i think it's just one of those generically strong leaders that has a chance and if you don't want that one you should grab this one because i can see this one going back up it's only gotten a few sales it's only like 35 bucks uh really really strong leader one i think you should have in your collection 
Another card from 05 that's been going up is uh, Kaido. We can just see this graph. It's just been moving, man. Like uh, $10 for your lowest rare five. I mean, we're talking $40 for a place of this card that was like $3 at one point, man. You could have sang these for so much cheaper. Uh, and then even the alt has gone up, but uh, I would hold off if you're looking to get nicer place out of this because there is an alt coming out of peer, uh, the premium booster reprint set that looks way better than this one in my opinion. But uh, that's just my opinion. 22 for your nearest mint. Uh, I mean, even this card's the lowest. Lowest it was was like 12 bucks. You could have saved yourself 40 bucks. Uh, Luffy, this one's all over the place, man. And uh, I don't know if this one's confirmed for a reprint in there or not, but if it doesn't get one, this card's gonna go crazy. Uh, I think this card just has a lot of potential being a whole turn skip. We get a whole new Luffy leader in 09, and I, I just think it's one you should have. Uh, you're looking at about eight bucks for your lowest, and then uh, the alt of it is has gone back up. It was a little cheaper the other week, but um, price of this card has been everywhere. I don't know. Uh, I have these. I've been thinking about moving them, but I might hold on to them. And then finally, I wanted to mention the uh, Awakening of the New Era booster box price shooting down. Um, I mean, we're talking about like $60 shot down. Uh, so if you've been wanting to pick one of these up, you might grab it now, whether a little bit cheaper than they were. Under 200 is not a bad price for this. But that's going to be all I have for you today. I tried to keep it a little shorter. I don't think I did. I'm looking at about 20 minutes still. But uh, if you enjoy this kind of content, definitely make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. It really helps me out a lot. And I will see you guys on the next one. Peace.